An unusual situation forced the TCU women's basketball program to forfeit some of the games this week. Yeah, Fox 4's Jeff Kolb has the details. So TCU was supposed to host number seven Kansas State. There are 14 players on the Frogs roster. Only six women, though, would have been able to play in this one. Yes, that would have given TCU five starters and one sub, but two of those Frog players recently came back from injuries, so the decision was ultimately made not to put their health at risk with extended minutes and potentially unusual responsibilities on the court. So what does this mean big picture for TCU? Well, these two games, they'll go down as forfeits. I'm told they will count as losses on the Frogs' conference record, not TCU's overall record. Still, it's a major setback in the Big 12 picture as it drops the Frogs' conference record to 1-6. and six. Really, this is a huge blow to what's been an incredible turnaround in Fort Worth. TCU, a program that has not made the NCAA tournament on the women's side since 2010. Last year, the Frogs finished with an 8-23 and 23 record, including just 1-17 in, in the Big 12 conference, and longtime head coach Reagan Pebley stepped down. Mark Campbell then takes over, leads this team out to a 14-0 start this season, his first as the head coach. But recently, the injuries started to pile up. The Frogs lost their last four games, and now they have to forfeit these two. So the hope is TCU will be healthy enough to play its next game on the schedule. That is a home game next Tuesday against Central Florida. I'm Jeff Kolb, Fox 4 Sports. Well, ladies, have you got the skills? In an effort to fix the problem, the TCU women's basketball team is holding open tryouts today and tomorrow. It's open to full-time students interested in walking on for the remainder of the season. Wow. Tryouts are held in the Schollmeyer Complex Practice Gym from 6 to 8 p.m. Well, just, you have to be a full-time student. Well, yeah, this just might be their I mean, chance, you could, though. You know. You know, I bet some of those kids have skills. I bet. <laughs>